What's good, what's good YouTube? It is Sunday and bringing you guys another video this week. If you guys enjoy the videos, enjoy the rotations, make sure you guys definitely leave a thumbs up. And for those of you who are new to the channel, if you have not already subscribed, make sure you definitely subscribe down below. First shoe to hit the rotation was the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. It's been a good minute since I actually rocked this shoe. I was so hyped on getting them and I wanted to keep them in good condition that I was worried about wearing them too much because I know they're going to have to last me for a long time. But to be honest, this is one of those sought after shoes that I didn't really think I'd be able to grab. I tried to take care of all my shoes just the same, but I always tend to baby my ones a little bit more, especially cleaning them the second I get in. Disinfecting wipes. That's all I use. Just wipe it down. Shout out to Webby. Second one up, Yeezy 352. 350 V2. Besides doing the review, the on feet, this is the first time that I actually wore these out. Don't know if you can tell or not. Insole is completely out. That is the only way I can rock these because every Adidas Yeezy so far has run huge. I never thought these would run small. I'll know going forward, especially with the three or four releases, hopefully get lucky on one of those, if not two or all of them. But at least I'll know to go up to a size 10 and a half so that I can leave the insoles in. Having the insoles out and being able to walk on the boost material itself is pretty nice. It actually feels great. Next up, when this shoe released, I remember being so hyped on getting it. It actually sold out the morning of release, which is crazy to think about, especially for those of you who are pretty new to the game. You probably don't even buy Nike SBs. SBs kind of had its downfall. I mean, obviously they will always make its way back up and a lot of people still rock with them, but I have a few of my own, but for some reason this colorway sticks with me the most. And just the materials and how it looks, it is just crazy. It looks just like that in person too. I don't know, it's just the way that it's set up. And you can't go wrong, especially with the gold on the Nike in that back tab. Nike SB Dunk Low Premiums in the Beijing colorway. And the dark translucent sole, make sure to keep them pretty clean. Another fan favorite, and actually the only Ultra Boost that I wore recently, and this is the 3M colorway from the 1.0s. When I say 1.0s, I'm referring to the Prime Knit. It's not the 1.0s in the sense of the bottom because you see the Continental Sole. This is actually a pair that I grabbed on Christmas Eve of last year, 2015. I grabbed this actually in the car on the way down when they restocked. People were telling me the prices on these are going for really, really high. I obviously don't pay attention at all because I had no idea that they were in the 300, 400 range. If I knew that, I probably would have tried to grab another pair. But yeah, this is the 1.0s or the 3M. I'm just already prepared for how much money is going to be spent in 2017 with these 3.0s. I expect a ton of Ultra Boost pickups. It's going to be really hard for anybody else to compete. We don't even have the LeBron 14. Who knows when that's even going to come out. And then Jordan's going to obviously have their big hits with like the royal ones hopefully the shadow ones and a few of the other jordan colorways but for the most part adidas is going to be killing it only two shoes left in the rotation and this is the air jordan 4 in the bread colorway Jumpman from the 2013 and this was actually the black friday release i remember i actually got this on dicks i got a size nine and a half and my foot grew over the last three or four years and actually i am tmc I, I, he had a double up pair and this is the size 10 that he actually sold me. I put a video up on this like when I first moved into this place. I only wear these maybe once every two months. This is one of my favorite Jordans of all time, especially the four. This is by far the best colorway. So I had to bust this out for a little bit. I actually only ended up wearing it for like an hour or two I wore to go grocery shopping. Anything over that much time, I'd rather just be wearing Ultra Boost. Sick colorway nonetheless, the Air Jordan 4. For part two of Sunday, this is the other pair that I wore. Air Jordan 1 and the metallic navy what else is there really to say about this shoe obviously the og treatment they give it with the nike air no jump man plain white is super super dope i actually think with the light blue jeans this looks great on feet the ones that i wear from h&m have great stack to them especially with the jordan ones that's usually how it looks especially when i'm walking around so that is by far my favorite pair to wear with these another one of those shoes that i've had for quite some time now and i just have not been able to get these busted out to be completely honest these will probably just sit by my door so i can start rocking them a lot more as sad as it might be i forget that i bought it i have it in my closet and then forget about it till two or three months later so if i put these back it might not be a while till i see them again hopefully you guys enjoyed the rotation like i said this should be the second video up this week probably put one up on tuesday if you saw that video and then this one should hopefully be up thursday tons and tons of stuff coming out the dornbeckers 
There's all the Yeezy 350 colorways, your Black Friday releases, your Cyber Monday releases, your holiday releases. It's just getting ready to come through like a freight train to end the year off. Let me know down below what you guys are looking forward to the most for the month of November. Hopefully I'll have up to two videos, if not three videos a week to end the whole entire year. If you'll show your support by giving me a thumbs up and for those of you who are just watching for the first time or maybe you've been a viewer for a while, subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.